this is one of Johannesburg city parks and it's called the Wilds Nature Reserve. So we are here and we're going to go up to the Sundial and Ostriches uh, and then we'll come back round here and we may cross the bridge and uh, you can actually walk right to the end there along the whole ridge and get a beautiful view this is the whole of the many ridges that are around Johannesburg that's what it used to look like before it was donated by one of the gold mining companies to be a public area just outside the confines of the old Johannesburg mining area. So the sculptor Arthur James Delaney has made 67 of these owls which he's put in the trees. This is a fever tree and it's got a beautiful green bark. Of course these trees are called fever trees because in the old days people thought that they when they got malaria, it came from these trees, not the mosquitoes. So you can see the ridges running across here, east-west. That's the St. John's School, a very old school, designed partially by Herbert Baker. And the two ridges, parallel ridges, run east-west. And they really, the outcrop of gold is over the other side of that far ridge with the telcom tower on the top of it. The landlords used to occupy this ridge because the air was nice and clean. They were the owners and managers of the gold mines which are down the, over the horizon down in downtown Joburg where the mining camp was. I only count the sunny hours. But they're the only ones that do count. <laughs> uh, this is Morning Glory. Otherwise known as Convolvulus. Okay, that sounds really unpleasant. Is that, is that what happens in the morning? <laughs> One gets convolvulated. <laughs> it doesn't sound glorious at all. 